Hello. Good afternoon. If you're here in the States watching live, it is um, Monday, October. I'm fixing my cheat sheet. <laughs> it's Monday, October 24th. We're winding down the month of October. I hope you're all doing well. Please say hello if you're here. I'd love to chat with you and I'm going to my nose always starts itching right when I start to do a live. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's up with that. And here I'm using a paper towel. How classy. That's what how we do it around here. We're very classy at the plaid poodle. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Leslie Benson. I am a um, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I teach people or I show people how to make fun things using stamps, paper, and ink. And today I'm going to do a new technique. This is very new to me and I've been seeing it all over the place so I wanted to give it a try. And I thought maybe, um, this is right in my eyes but I don't want you guys to have the glare either. Um, you guys might like to give it a give it a go. Hi, Stacy. Hope you're doing well. How is Canada? It is raining here. It's um, overcast and raining, but we are very thankful because it's been a while since we've had a a good rain, and um, it's kind of nice to stay inside and um, craft. Perfect day for that. So I am gonna pull my camera back around here. And show you what we're gonna make today. Get us straight here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I did try it this morning and it worked. <laughs> you never know when you're trying something new. We're gonna make four cards in one mighty little um, Make It Monday. It's beautiful and sunny and warm, so we are enjoying it before the cold weather comes. Um, hi, Mom. Hope you're doing well on this Monday and staying warm. Um, yeah, we had some beautiful uh, warm weather last week. Very unseasonable for our area in the 80s. We had our AC on a couple of days. So I am going to show you how to make four cards using one sheet of basic white and these are uh, these are just the samples that I um, you know I always have to give it a go to make sure it's gonna work for you guys so I'm really excited because once I'm done with today's project I'll have eight Christmas cards already in the hopper so um, I am making mine Christmas cards but I have seen these done with fall leaves uh, it would be beautiful with flowers um, once I get started, you'll see what I'm talking about. Hi, cat. I always forget to put myself in the corner there. <laughs> I'm so glad you caught us live today. Um, you are going to start with a piece of 10 and a half by 8. So I took a half a inch off one side of an 8 and a half by 11. So I, it's 10 and a half inches long and 8 inches wide. And the reason is we're going to cut these into our normal um, first layer size, which is kind of a, a go-to size of five by four, five and a fourth by four. So if we have ten and a half, we can cut it right in half at five and a fourth. So that will be our um, length. And then right in the half this way, which will be our four inches and it will it'll be a first layer size for um, an A2 card size. Now, if you wanted to make it a three and three fourths by five, you would adjust your paper. So you just adjust your main sheet of paper by the size layer you want so that when you cut it in half, it's gonna be the size that you want. I hope that made sense. Maybe as we get to going, you'll um, it'll make more sense. So I am once again using the spruced up. Uh, I can't get away from this stamp set. I hope you guys aren't sick of it. But I I just thought it would work really well because it has all these different elements. It has a couple of 
um, ornaments, the, the um, candy canes, the snowflakes, the Christmas present. So I thought it would work good for this technique. Um, so I'm using um, images from that stamp set and then a new one that is going to be available to customers on um, November 1st. So after October, this framed and festive stamp set will be available. So I'm using the Fa La 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 La, uh, <laughs> say that fast, um, sentiment and the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I love this font. There's also a coordinating stamp set and um, die that's not holiday at all that, that goes with this or you can... Um, purchase it all together and I will share more about that next week but I am going to give you a sneak peek of that today okay so this is the main ingredient for our we're going to stamp on this card and it's called four corners the four corners technique and I'm using a shaded spruce I'm using more traditional colors today um, real red gray granite for my snowflakes and Tahitian Tide. I wanted to throw a little blue in there and then I'm also going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink later for my sentiment. So we're going to basically make a, a cross on this piece of paper using our images and I'm going to just start with this large. I like to start with my large images when I'm kind of stamping randomly and then fill in as I go with the smaller images. So I'm using this large um, ornament image and the real red and I'm just going to randomly stamp this down the page. We're going to fill in with the other images here in a minute. And we're, it's okay to go off paper. In fact, it's probably encouraged. <laughs> and then I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going kind of where I think the center of the paper is, which I hope I did that okay. So I've got that. Now I'm going to grab my um, next larger image, which is this round ornament, and I'm going to kind of fill in Hi Carol, I am attempting to do what is called a four corners technique. We're kind of making our own background paper. You've probably seen it all over the place. And as you'll notice, I'm kind of making a cross. <laughs> Hopefully that's making sense. Okay, my next larger um, image is the snowflake. So I'm going to grab some gray granite. I kind of wish I would have um, maybe used some balmy blue for this, but I wanted a more neutral color. Um, so I grabbed the gray. And I'm just kind of filling in where I see spots open spots and when we're all done later if we see we need to add some more I'll show you um, how that's you can do that very easily okay maybe I'll throw one right here all right and then my last little image well no it's not my last limit image is my little gift box and I'm using the shaded spruce for that I wanted a lot of different colors in here. And I'm just throwing this around. This is the second time doing this. So this one either will not turn out as well or, <laughs> or might turn out better. I don't know. I'm going to maybe stick one up there. And now our final little image is our little candy cane. So we can just kind of 
throw that in anywhere. Oops, I'm not pressing hard enough. I'm even going to throw him upside down right there like he got thrown in the wind. <laughs> I think that's good. I think I'm done. Okay, now the last thing I did was I took some basic, we could just keep going actually and have some background paper, um, you know, make our own DSP. But I'm going to show you this four corners um, technique and how you can make four cards really fast. And they look really pretty. I'm taking the little ornament topper and I'm doing the basic black and just stamping right over top of those. Um, I'm gonna go back over the blue ones here in a minute. Just so they don't look so funny. They look more like ornaments. And I might make this one look like it's falling upside down. I didn't do that on my samples, but I think it might be cute now that I've done it. Whoops! Poop. That one's going to look weird, but that's okay. Now that I've done this once, I think I'm getting more confident. <laughs> It just is going to look like our ornament box just fell and fell all over the floor. Okay, I think I got them all. That one's going to go off the page. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do um, is what I mentioned at the beginning. We're going to just cut it in half. Remember, this is 10 and a half by 8. So if we cut 8 in half, it's going to be at 4. And then if we cut 10 and a half in half, it's going to be at 5 and a fourth. And now do you get what it's going to do? Isn't that good English? Okay. I'm going to set this here just in case we need it later. Okay, now I've got my four... Um, card bases and I chose real red for these like I said at the beginning I'm using some real traditional colors now this one we could do um, in this orientation and I kind of like that my samples I did all in the landscape orientation of course with my um, sentiments it might work better if I do it in the landscape orientation but I kind of like this one um, this way. This one would be cute um, landscape as well. But I think since I, I chose the um, because of the sentiments I chose, we're going to do them all in um, I was saying the opposite. It would look good in um, the opposite of landscape. What is that called? Oh, goodness. I have seen this done with um, the big pumpkin set that we have. It's really cute with all the pumpkins. I've seen it done with some autumn leaves. It's very, very pretty. Kay says she likes doing these kinds of cards. So Kay has done this before. Kay, this is my, um, actually my second attempt. My samples that I showed earlier was my first attempt. Um, but if you needed to get some cards out quickly or wanted to do some birthday cards all at once, this would be a great technique to use. And especially Christmas cards. It's 
so we can get them done and ready to get out the door. Carol is planning on getting this bundle this week. I love this bundle. I have been using it too, too much. I need to stop using it because you guys are going to really get bored. Okay, so see how that works? Now we're, all we have to do, we could just stamp our sentiment right here. But I had to get fancy schmancy. So I cut. Um, but it would be very simple just to put your sentiment there. I cut two... Um, scallop circles. I even did my stamping a little bit ahead of time. And then I cut two of these frames. These are from the um, contour dies. I think they're called, they're called scalloped contour dies. And I'll have this all listed over on my blog um, because I thought they worked really well um, along with the circles. Okay. And then I stamp here, we'll go ahead and do some stamping. I took two squares of basic white. This is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And like I said earlier, I am using one of the new and upcoming framed and festive stamp sets. I love these, the fonts on this sentiment and you'll get be getting more um, information from me on that next week. Um, those will be available to you all customers starting in November. As demonstrators, we always get to pre-order things. So it's another reason to consider joining Stampin' Up! To get everything before everyone else and before it's sold out. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so then I stamp those and then cut them out with the circle dies. Do -do -do. Magic of television, there we go. These I didn't have to cut out, and I used the follow la la la. These are the real nice red rubber cling stamps. I love that. Okay, and then we can just adhere those all up onto our backgrounds. Everybody's loving the colors I used today, good. I love to use a little bit of blue with real red at Christmas time. I think I discovered that by accident one year, and now it's my favorite thing to do is to add um, a little blue to with real red. So now we have our little framed sentiments. I love this little um, scalloped frame from the contour dies. So cute. I always forget about it. Okay. I think this one I am going to use the round ones on and do it this orientation. Let's see. That one looks weird. I probably did it upside down. I should have did it the other way. I have to do it. So my my um, <laughs> my experiment with putting those ornaments hither, tither, and yon was um, kind of weird. So that one works really well that way. I'm not sure. There we go. There's that one I messed up. I might put a die cut or something over that. And that goes there. I wonder if I could put this here. I think I can. I might add a little um, a little extra stamp stamp there. We'll do both of those that um, way. 
Okay. I just wanted to show you the versatility that you don't have to do them all landscape. It just depends. It's dealer's choice. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I think that means the dealer gets to decide what game they play. I don't know. I've just heard that before. <laughs> and I, you guys, I am not popping anything up on these cards, which is very unusual for me. Oh, okay. For this one, I wanted a little extra, extra under the um, thing. But now, here we go. This is how I did it. I had more space on this one. I think I went a little crazier on my on my um, stamping, and so I filled in more of the area. And so I had added the um, green strip of cardstock to just kind of take up that space. Hi, Stephanie. We are doing the. Um, I think they call it the four corners technique, where we stamped in a kind of a cross pattern. And you end up with four beautiful cards really quickly. It makes your background paper. I think it's lovely. Okay. Now see here, I'm a little, I don't really like all that open space, but we're going to add some of the pearlized enamel effects. And we'll take up some of that white space. We could have put our green this way, which let's try that. Because I I tell you, if it's got too much white space, I kind of get nervous. <laughs> and I know a lot of famous people, famous stampers, they are really known for their white space, right? Okay, I am going to flag the ends of this. In fact, I'm going to cut this a little... Uh, I don't want it that long. These are 5 8 inch strips of the um, shaded spruce green. And I lied when I said I didn't pop anything up because I'm going to pop these up, these scallop tags. I didn't think there was going to be room, but I was looking at it horizontally, and there is going to be room if we do it um, vertically. All right, I like that. Okay, we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. White space drives Stephanie cray cray too. <laughs> I see. You know, the European stampers, the Stampin' Up! demonstrators from Austria and Germany and over there, they make the most beautiful um, projects and they use a lot of white space. All right, let's dig this one up. Oh, my um, 12 Weeks of Christmas is coming out tomorrow. I already did it yesterday. It is so adorable. So if you are not on my mailing list, hop on over to thepladpoodle.com and um, sign up for that, and you'll get it right in your email. You'll get a link to the um, project sheet that you can download. Um, you don't have to download it. You could just read it. And also a link to the video tutorial. So it's very cute. It's a 3D item. I kind of like to do 3D items for my 12 weeks just because it's, you know, over the top. And I do so many cards um, on my Make It Mondays and Coffee in a Card. There we go. I'm going to raise this up just a teeny bit. Stephanie says she can't do simple stamping, but it does look pretty. It does. It's so elegant, right? 
I was at a demonstrator event Saturday and somebody was talking about, we just can't do it. We just can't do it. <laughs> you got to add one more thing, right? There we go. Oh, I love that. Okay, so there it is in the um, vertical. I'm trying to think. This is landscape. This is, somebody help me out. <laughs> This is horizontal. This is vertical. Um, we've got one low and one high. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't it be fun to tie these all up and give them to someone as a gift? Just tie a ribbon around them and they, they've got all their Christmas cards. Okay, then the last thing I did is I added a little of the um, pearlized enamel effects basics. It comes in black. You get a package of red, black, and... Um, it's supposed to be silver, I think. I don't know, but it, it looks more gray. And I'm just going to add, oops, I usually do a, a practice run. Now these you need to let dry and they flatten out and look just like pearls once they dry, but don't stack anything on top of them until they've dried real well. I really like them. These, um, I wish Stampin' Up! would do them in different colors, more colors, because I have really taken a, a liking to them. <laughs> First of all, they're cheaper than using pearls. And they last longer. I mean, you you know, a whole bottle will last quite a while. So you don't have to worry about running out or if you have enough. I just like them. So I hope they continue to carry these and um, maybe add some colors. Let me pull, um, they're a little flatter, Carol, after they, um, and that, it's so blurry, I can't ever focus. I wonder, oh. No, that didn't help either, did it? <laughs> they are a little flatter, but they still have dimension and shine. Um, I need to learn how to focus in like that. Um, but they are a little flatter. Not too much. You know, probably better for mailing. Yeah. I just saw on a video this morning, um, speaking of mailing your cards. It was a Jennifer McGuire video and she had this foam that she'd cut down. It was very, very thin foam. I need to figure out where it is and maybe I can put it in my comments. Um, that she just cut a square so she could put it over her card and then that kind of protected it in the mail from getting smushed and everything. So um, I wonder if that would be an expensive item to have. She said she bought sheets of it and cut it down. Um, so I'll, I'll look into that and see what that is. I was watching a video on how to organize your cards because my cards are taking over. <laughs> and um, she had some special containers. I think they were refrigerator organizers, you know, the clear acrylic, but, um, okay, Stephanie says it's packing foam, you can get it in sheets or a roll, okay, um, that's a good idea, Carol, put an embossed piece of cardstock, that would, that would protect your cards, anyway, to, um, I'm just trying to figure out how to organize my, my already made cards and um, I don't think her plan would work. I need something with a lid because my storage, I don't have enough storage to 
have five drawers of cards, um, I need to um, have a lid so I can stack. So, but that's what I was watching the video for to see how <laughs> how she organized all of her cards. It would help if I'd start mailing some of my cards out. I'm terrible at mailing. I love making cards, but then I'm terrible at mailing them out. All right, I'm going on and on and on. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today. I am so happy I have eight Christmas cards already done, ready to mail. I should pop them in an envelope and get them out, um, address them, and they're ready to go after Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you try the four corners technique. I would love to see what you come up with, so let me know if you do. And I will be back Wednesday for Coffee and a Card. We'll be... Um, making another card. Um, we'll talk soon. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, ladies. Happy stamping.